Let us treat murder, corruption, and deceit as delightful amusement. How wonderful. We are here to She's so pissed. Hey internet, it's Jessica, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition, and we're finally going to start the Winter Palace quest, which is over here in Orle. So, oh dear, here we go. Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts, the greatest quest ever. We have to reach the Empress before Corythius. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? The Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Celine will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. We have to figure out where the assassin is hiding because we saw in the future of Redcliffe when we were with Dorian when we first met him that he plans to assassinate Empress Selene, but it's not easy to get to the Empress. I mean, come on, it's not going to be that easy. So it must be somebody must be hiding within the castle itself. And it's between the cousins. So we can't really just send a warning and be like, hey, there's somebody out to kill you because why would they believe that? Like, if you've known Vivienne or Josephine who have uh, talked about this before, they have said that, you know, like, being within the game um, it's n most likely known you're gonna die regardless, so it's kind of common for them, which is kind of weird. I know it's kind of- it sounds kind of fucking odd, but it's pretty normal for people to die within, like, parties and stuff like that. So I don't think they would believe it, but we need to- we need to go. Ooh, okay, this is very difficult because I have to decide who I'm gonna bring, but for sure, for sure, Solus is coming with me. Oh, hey, Cole's car changed already. Interesting. Uh, Cassandra is a tank. I think I want to bring Cole as well. The Here we go. Situation in Halam Shiral hangs by a thread. We're at the Halam Shiral. Oh my goodness. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his Oh, we gotta hang out so with the snooty people control. right now. Oh my goodness. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity. If not a clear advantage. Hey, what's up? We look so friggin' badass right now. It's a great pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor Lavellan. Hello. The rumors coming out of the Western approach say you battled an army of demons. Yeah. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orlean. Oh my god, this guy, come on, dude. Oh, I fuck. I want to be sarcastic as fuck, but I have to remember we're representing the Inquisition and we have to kind of be um, cunning while we're talking to these people. Um, so I gotta act like Liliana right now, and I'm just gonna say that would be impressive, dude. I can see many benefits to such an alliance. Keep the image firmly in mind. You help me, I'll help you. My uh -huh. lady, are you prepared to shock the court by walking into the Grand Ball with a hateful usurper? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. Elves are not very, you know, held high amongst the population of um thetis people see elves as slaves or like they just don't like them or savages i should say because uh, my inquisitor is dalish so they think she's like fucking weird because she lives in the forest or whatever so this sh this should go go very well so far it's a pleasure to meet you duke gaspard i look forward to ending this civil war as do i my friend the empire needs stability and security now more than ever. Uh -huh. If you have the safety of the Orlesian people at heart, Inquisitor, perhaps you will look into something for me. This elven woman, Briara, I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. Okay, we'll, we'll investigate. That sounds like something I should look into. <laughs> I feel like Elia is like, uh, like um, forcing a smile and forcing to sound happy. Oh my goodness, this, I, I would do the same thing actually. Our enemies will make us look like villains. Shall we? Yeah. Okay. Sure. We we shall. Oh is God. The Inquisitor. An elf savage. Oh, make us forbid. Oh my god. See what I mean? Everybody's fucking racist. So the reason why I don't like this quest is because you need court approval. It says here, Orlesian nobility look down on elves. The court watches you with a critical eye. 
So my my uh, score right now is 30 out of 100. I've gotten 100 before. It's more difficult when you're not human. So if you're any other race, your your um, court approval goes down, which is fucking stupid. The, which is why a lot of people hate this fucking quest because you have to keep up the approval throughout the entire quest because they will go down after a certain amount of times. So you have to keep like keep it up, which is so stupid. Anyway, so I'm, right now I'm gonna do that, help my court approval before we go in, so that everybody can calm the fuck down. There we go. So I help this woman. So there's there's quests about uh this um mini quest I should say within this quest where you can get approval and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try my best to keep my approval high. And uh, this is just one example. I got five points, so that's good. But god damn it, I have to keep this up throughout the entire goddamn thing, and I hate it so much. Anyway, let's head inside already because I feel like we need to you know, get the show on the road. Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. Sure. I must warn you before you go inside. How you speak to the court is a matter of life and death. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. Ah, uh, I'll be careful, Josephine, because Josephine is gr grew up around this. Same with Liliana, so they know what they're I'll doing. Keep my guard up. Don't worry. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the end. How can people live like this, dude? Like, I, I, I wouldn't be able to do this. You are safer in the fade with the fear demon. Well. We should warn the others, though. It might be a good idea for the others to hear this warning. Particularly Cole. Assuming you can get him to pay attention. I'll have a few discreet words. And the rest, I watch over us all. This place is very beautiful. Can I just say that right now? As much as I hate this quest, this, um... The environments of this place is very beautiful. Hey, Cassandra! This dress uniform is preposterous. Formal armor would have been better. Of course she would say that. Hey Colin, what's up? I need to have this jacket let out a little. <laughs> Colin and Cassandra hate this so much. It's so funny. Oh, this is and so now awkward. Presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon. And accompanying him, Lady Inquisitor Lavellen. Sup, I'm a Dale Shelf. Get wrecked. What now? The Herald of Andrasse is an elf. <laughs> Brianna's dress is very pretty, though. Vanquisher of the rebel mages of Ferelden. Oh my god. Crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. Champion of the blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see their faces? Priceless. I like how this guy's supposed to be escorting me, but he's like walking away. Seeker, oh my god, all of this. Allegra. Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Fourteenth <laughs> cousin to the King of Navarra, nine times removed. Hero of Orle, right hand of the divine. The Lady Inquisitor's elven serving man, Solus. Wow! Of Callum Stanton Rutherford of Homley. Wow! Did you hear that? What the fuck? The Solus is not my manservant. Not, not that way, but what the Lady fuck? Liliana, <laughs> They're so racist here. I hate it. And I, uh, you notice that the guy didn't even night. mention Cole because they don't Seneschal even know he's here. Of the Inquisition and left hand of the divine. And Lady Josephine Charette Montillier of Antiva City, Ambassador of the Inquisition. Liliana, can you believe this shit? My god! I can't believe they talked about Solus that way. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. <laughs> we have business to conclude. We will meet for the Orlay is like the definition of Game of Thrones, like the show, or I should say King's Landing. That's where it, it, yeah, I should say for him. All right, Lady bye. Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Thank you. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. You're Everyone's right. very I suspicious in this like place. A cool wind on a summer's day. Ha! Ah, thanks. I am delighted to be here, Your Majesty. How do you find Halam Shiral? 
It's lovely. I've never seen any. <laughs> Her fake smile. <laughs> we hope you will find time to take in some of its beauty. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. All right. We look forward to watching you dance. Thanks. I'm just gonna leave now. Liliana, help me. A word when you have a moment. Okay. Okay, so for the sake of time, I'm gonna skip, like, the, you know, like, the little uh, things that I have to do in this place to, like, get my, uh, court approval up. Just for the sake of time, but before I do that, I kind of want to see Solas. Where the hell is he? Josephine! Oh, Josephine! Is this her? <sighs> Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella Montillier. Hello! Delighted to meet you, Lady Montillier. <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. What does that mean? Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Oh. <laughs> Is it true? Rebel mages in Redcliffe were performing blood rites and orgies before you stopped them. <laughs> what? <laughs> Everyone in Antiva says so. Yo, everybody anti I of course Antiva would fucking say that everybody was having an orgy with blood magic. Oh my god. I'm going to I'm just going to be like, sure, why not? Of course, every word, especially the parts where everyone is nude. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, I'm going to totally bullshit my way throughout this whole entire thing when people ask me questions. I don't care anymore. Cullen seems to be popular with the ladies and gentlemen. Who are all these people? They won't leave me alone. I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. <laughs> I'm sorry, Colin. We'll get out of here soon, I swear. I await your seat. Where the fuck is Solis? I want to talk to him. What's up? What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be off focus. The best place to strike at Selene is from her side. Empress Selene is fascinated by mysticism. Foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor. An apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court. An apostate honor. mage? Ooh, who could that be? In the past. We should look into it though. That sounds exactly like the person we're looking for. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. This ball is a waste of time. Like all Orlesian foolishness. <laughs> I agree with her 100%. Collaborate and get out of here. Orlesians pretend their petty squabbles are a game. Yes, let us treat murder, corruption, and deceit as delightful amusement. How wonderful. We are here to She's so pissed. <laughs> and it galls me. Why does she merit our protection? The oh Empire would be better off without her. Gaspard is the leader Olay needs in this crisis. Ooh, you think so? I didn't know Cassandra thought that way. You support the civil war? Of course not. Chaos is what Corypheus wants, and we must oppose him. Were it up to me, however, I would let Selene fall and Gaspard take the throne. Interesting. He would see the true threat, not spend his time throwing balls and writing letters. And I didn't know Cassandra felt that way. I've always kept Selene on the throne, so that's pretty interesting. That I didn't know that Cassandra felt that way. Leave us. Oh, okay, geez. I'm just, all right, fine. <gasps> Solus! Hi, Solus! I do adore the heady blend of power, intrigue, danger, and sex that permeates these events. What was that last part? Sex? Huh? Sex? Hey, you wanna dance? Do you have any interest in dancing? A great deal. Although dancing with an elven apostate would win you few favors with the court. I don't give a Perhaps shit. Once our business here is done. I don't care. I'm dancing with you one way or another. I don't really give a crap. Are you okay, though? You seem more comfortable with a Grand Orlesian Ball than I'd have expected. I have seen countless such displays in my journeys in the Fae. A powerful of all... Once again, same. Fade Nerd. Only the costumes change. Have you encountered any trouble with the nobles? The Orlesians do not quite know what to make of me. I have kept to myself, for fear of giving them some purchase to cling to. The food and drink are excellent, however, and the servants have been happy to refill my glass. Have you seen anything useful? No, sadly. I do not have the look of one of the elven servants, or I might well be invisible. I wonder how masked men live their lives without ever seeing that servants have an entire society of their own. If you want to find something useful, I would pay attention to what the servants do. 
Okay, Solus. I'll be back. And well. I'm glad that no one's like harassing him because he's an elf. Can't believe they called him a manservant. What the fuck? Always a difficult what the- time. that guy just like fucking Never teleported there. What the hell is going on? <laughs> He's like sliding all over the place. Uh oh. I should get back to the ballroom. We found out that there's the- they've been hiding dead bodies. A lot of servant elves have been killed. And they were hiding them on the second floor. I wonder what the fuck is happening because somebody's lying to me. Not sure who though. But we gotta get back to the ball and see what's going on over there. Well, well. <gasps> what have we here? Yes! The leader of the new Inquisition. My Fae! herald of the faith. Delivered from the grasp of the Fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. Oh my god! <laughs> what would bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? Well, 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 it's a mystery. We may never know. Courtly intrigues and all that. Such intrigues obscure much, but not all. I am Morrigan. Yes! Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the Oh, Empire. if you guys don't know, Morrigan was you a companion in Dragon Age Origins, the first Dragon Age game. She was the sassy mage who always fought with Alistair every single time. You and I, <laughs> I loved her so much. That's a good question. I don't know, do we? <laughs> You are being coy. Hell yeah, man! I'm being careful. Not unwise, here of all places. Allow me to speak first, then. Recently I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls. An agent of Tevinta. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinta's body. Thanks, Morgan. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. Is she okay, though? You left Selene alone. Is that wise? I must return to her anon, but she is safe enough. For the moment. It would be a great fool who strikes at her in public in front of all her court and the Imperial Guard. That's true. Why do you protect her? What's your interest in protecting Empress Selene? Are you her bodyguard? <laughs> Do I seem a bodyguard? She to can you? be a bodyguard if you if know what I mean. She's very powerful. Selene, eyes would turn first to her occult advisor, even if they knew otherwise. There are sharks in the water, and I will not fall prey to them. Not now, not ever. Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinter. What comes next will be most exciting. I hope so. God, I love Morgan so much. Oh my god. I have like a huge crush on her anyway. A painful stabbing and then uh -oh. real stabbing. Lungs full, frothing, scent of apples as it all goes black. They're already dead. You can't help them. Don't let their memory overwhelm you. All right, we got to figure out what the fuck is happening right now. Everybody's like fucking dying. Look at this. Dead bodies everywhere. Who's this? This was no servant. What was he doing here? He doesn't belong. Even if he weren't dead, he would be wrong. The crest of the Shalom family. Duke Gaspard will answer for this. Time to have a word with the Duke. Huh? Whoa, okay. What? All right, fine, okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna fight now. This is, this is why I hate, I hate this class so much. Fucking Venatori, man. Don't they have anything better to do? Fuck, my score is going down. I hate this so much. Fucking just run. Fuck, we can't. Come on, come on, guys. We gotta hurry, we gotta hurry. They're gonna notice that I'm gone. God damn it. Do you see why everybody hates this quest? Fuck! Did they see me? Damn it! <laughs> the heck? Fancy meeting you. Oh, it's Briella. Inquisitor Lavellan, slamming in the servants' quarters with the rest of your people for once. Excuse me? Properly introduced, have we? I'm what was that? Ah, oh, the fuck. Okay, hi. I'm glad to meet you finally, Ambassador. Your reputation for getting results is well deserved. So, 
the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? I found him dead. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing to winter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. We gotta warn Celine then, right? The Empress needs to know what's going on. You can try to warn her. She won't believe anything from me. You might just be an ally worth having. Uh -huh. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. I'll think about it. I would consider such an alliance. We can help each other. In oh, Cassandra, don't look at me like that. What the heck? Outsiders here, after all. Finally, the Grand Duchess. We finally get to talk. Can I? You you have interesting timing. Why am I not at all surprised that you want to see me now? This is Orle, Inquisitor. Nothing happens by accident. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of a certain person. Uh -huh. Come, dance with me. Spies Ooh, we're gonna dance now. Dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance? Your if I d disagree, I'm gonna get low approval, you know what I mean? Have the Dalish gained a sudden passion for politics? What do you know about our civil war? Why don't you educate me? I gotta be cunning. What do you think I ought to know? We my look so awkward. Everyone looks so awkward dancing right now. <laughs> it took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Uh-huh. Is that what we both want? Do we both want I'm gonna keep asking questions them? because that way you don't get a straight answer from me. I hope me. we are of one mind on this. In times like these, it's hard to tell friend from foe, is it not, your grace? I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere <laughs> Elia looks so tiny! <laughs> you are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Which am I to you, my lady? Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, your grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you uh -huh. even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? Who do you trust? I'm not gonna An answer her. question. I might ask the same of you, your grace. I'm not gonna answer your questions, dude. I'm just gonna keep questioning her. She fucking didn't answer me either! In the palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. Isn't everyone? I, dangerous I love this. I love being like sarcastic right now. This is great. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspar before he strikes. Huh. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. Mm -hmm. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? Isn't it a bit odd that she threw her brother under the bus just like that? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. <laughs> it's a nice change, though. It's a relief to do something other than fight demons and horrors. You still face demons and horrors. These ones are simply better dressed. <laughs> you keep dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. Yeah. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Oh my god. Found venatory agents. Morrigan helped me get into the servants' quarters where I found a group of venatory and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become emperor. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. Whoa. I, I love Liliana, but she always goes dark. <laughs> Wait, what do you- what do you mean by that? What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes the best path is not the easiest one. 
Ah, uh, what is the best path? I don't fucking You're know. You're to decide what's best for Ole. More than that, whoever controls the Imperial throne will affect all of Thavis. So, if we save the Empress, everything will remain the same. Pretty much what Josephine wants. Just everything's just normal. Gaspard is what Cullen wants. So, like, a new beginning. But this will cause war no matter what. And then there's Briella, the elf woman that we met, the elven woman that we met earlier, and Liliana supports her because she thinks it would be better, also be better for the el elven people here, which I- trust me, I agree because I'm so biased of elves right now, but the problem with this is like, if I choose Briella, I want to pick her, but I just know it's going to affect Trespasser, the DLC, and the next game. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. 